Hi everyone, welcome to my topic. My name is Bitty Jumpy Tong. So, what we will talk about today? I will talk. I will talk about uh, how to update the Windows software on self-hosted agents using Azure Byline. Let's get start together. What is the Azure Pipeline? Azure Pipeline is, is the one service under Azure DevOps service. So I show you here, you can you click here. Okay. So Azure DevOps is the, the service ecosystem for the DevOps. So they are Azure boss. Azure, that the one for like a, a create the bot to talk together for for a, it's like a Jira bot. It's like a Taylor bot. So you can uh, track the tasks, track the plan, and talk together in your team. And another one is called Azure Pipelines. That we will focus for today. Azure Pipeline is like uh, the tools that uh, you can create the pipeline for build, test, and deploy your code and deploy to a and deploy you your code to a hosted like uh, Azure or another cloud or on-prem server, and it's easy to connect to GitHub or Azure repos repository, this one is like a the it's like a GitHub, but it's like a software. I mean, like a repository to host your code under ecosystem Azure DevOps. And this one is Azure Test Plan is for plan for testing and Azure Artifact to keep the to keep the the build code or some information that you need to host. So if we go to inside the Azure Pipeline here, the Azure, the Azure Pipeline is can, uh, there are there are two types. The one type is called Microsoft Hosted. That, that means that mean your Pipeline will run on Microsoft uh, compute, computer without any installation and the other one is called self-hosted agent means your pipeline will run on your machine that you can install the DevOps agent and any kind of software that you want it's like uh, you can customize by yourself okay so let's go back to, to, to the talk here okay but for for Microsoft hosted they provide fee limit 1,800 minutes per month for private repo. That means you can use uh, you can use the build for building a pipeline for free in 1,800 minutes for private repo. But for public repo, for sure, you can use it forever for free forever. So today uh, I will gonna show you how to update the window on self-hosted agent. The scenario will be like this. When you install the self-hosted agent on your on your machine like uh, on VM or on any cloud to customize your software for 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 build your code specific instead of use Microsoft hosted and sometimes the window will ask you to update automatically right but for sure we we don't want to to run window update on cell agent because sometimes it will restart by itself and didn't work agent didn't run again so the pipeline will be broken or 
are not working. So that means you need to set up somehow to run window updates every night, for example, and then you would like to see the results, the result that that tell you that uh, the window update, uh, how, I mean, which software update on your machine and send notice to uh, to your channel like a Microsoft team in this case. So that means right now, uh, the solution will be like this. We, we uh, create the Azure pipeline here. The Azure pipeline will use the YAML file. It's called, it, it's called any name, but in this case, I use, I use Azure pipeline YAML file here. This is the, the one will define the, the workflow pipeline in this file. Okay, And then I set up the schedule, for example, if if come midnight time, it will be required to Azure pipeline here. Will be uh, execute on the self hosted agent to run PowerShell. So I just create one file, PowerShell file called the WS, and then update everything. After update everything finished, then it will send notification to the channel that we will provide. All right, okay. So, okay, and uh, I will show that I will prepare already somehow. Already. So for example, the command that we use in PowerShell, is command is called get window update. Okay, and then you can use the PowerShell style to get the object here. So that means first thing you can list off the the software that that need to be updated on self-hosted agent. For example, it's like a three softwares. Okay, so we will use this command. And after we install everything done, it will be sent the notice of list here into Microsoft channel. So this is the example that it will set send to show in the channel that you provide. In this case, we use Microsoft Teams. So Microsoft Team will get the notification, the list of the, the software that we need to, we, we've, we already updated. Yeah, and, and you can know that, all right? Okay, so let's go to uh, in in this code here, so the code here will provide like a Azure pipeline here. I just show you here. Okay. The Azure pipeline we just declare the name here. So that means the format will be like a the name here, right? And then put the format like a year month day and the revision revision is mean like uh, when you if you if you test or some file fail and you try to rerun manually again it will be like a, a revision number one two three four five in the same day so you you know that uh, which they have a problem or not all right and then uh, this syntax this syntax will show you that uh, you can make the schedule. Schedule is mean like a, I, I run on 3 a.m. night time. So for example, this is the minute and hour. Yeah, and, and, and run every day, every month. Yeah, so it's like a run every uh, 3 a.m. every day. Okay, and sometimes the the pipeline normally we use for like a push code and build right like a ticker by code. So that means we, we normally use include. Uh, if if I would like to run only main branch, I just include only main branch. But if if like a scheduler, that means sometimes it's not run automatically. So we have to make sure that it will always run. Then we put 
the option here is called always true so that means it will run every day on 3 a.m. okay and this is like a, that means uh, you not run by push code but you run by schedule only so ticker is ticker none PR is mean pull request is none okay and this is I just show you that I have one agent but sometimes we have a many agent but we use we would like to run only one agent for specific pipeline so we can use agent name and my agent name is called agent 01 so it's like a run this pipeline will run on agent 01 only right and then this one is PowerShell tab. So you, I use the PowerShell, but I not use the window PowerShell. So I will specific the PowerShell I use. I use PowerShell core. PowerShell core is like a cross platform PowerShell, right? So we use this one and we use the, the name of file here, this one. All right, okay. Then we go to the PowerShell code here. The PowerShell code is 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 really simple. That means the first thing we uh, the style like this we need to write anything in the log first to show uh, so to know which software that you need to update. Okay, and then we install the module called PowerShell Window Update, and then we make sure that install work I just like for testing so you can ignore it if if you download my code and customer you can ignore this part and then also I will would like to get the list so I just get the list and select in only title because they have a mini kind like a like a, a column I just show you here is better for you to understand so if we run this one and did not put anything right we will show to any just moment yeah yeah it show a uh, computer name tie the side here yeah so so that means you see it's a lot, but actually I need to focus only the title. So that means I need to learn like a, a select object here. Only this page the title, right? Okay. So then that means I just uh, select only the title, right? And and then we're going to loop here and, and like to check on the command there. So it's like a loop two and then show, show this one. All right. And then we just... Uh, save into log file that we uh, provide on the first of the first line of code okay and then we just install it here we use the except all that mean uh, sometimes it's asked except or not but we just install every software that is here by except all okay and af after that we just prepare of the code here for make the body to to send information into Microsoft team we use this style for the JSON format and then we convert to the JSON and then yeah after we convert to 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 the JSON here and then we can yeah use the invoke recipe so actually you make sure that you got the webhook address here and then you post it all right okay that's it so then uh, then you will get the result after land this I just show you a bit more the result that I prepare already yeah okay this is the, the example here. So you see that, 
Yes, that's that's is LAN already, right? And you can see on the LAN window update, you can see the detail here, right? This is the the detail when you run it, and also uh, you can yeah you can see this one is like a day midnight, right? This one and update script, yeah. So you can see something like this. This is the format, and you can go the detail of the Azure pipeline. You can see the detail that we wrote for debugging. So to make sure that okay everything it work fine here, all right? Yeah. So that's it. Uh, back to, to the slide. I have some note for you that. Um, the Azure pipeline for build one time is like uh, not take longer than one hour. If one hour is like uh, the the host will be interrupted by the, by the DevOps service. So that means this is this is the issue. The other one is like uh, sometimes when you get the Microsoft a notification into Microsoft team about the list the software that that the pipeline list and update but sometimes it did not update exactly because of uh, some software need like a reboot first okay so you have to make sure that you you checking again so this is the issue that we I, I, I just note for you but we can solve by by like a, a like a, a submit for some urg urgent window for update and to make sure that sometime when we uh, restart again, maybe you can uh, set a schedule to, to test it to rerun again. Yeah. So this is the reference, every, everything reference here. So you, I, I just uh, uh, learn from some of the, the, the reference and then uh, apply it together in my code here. And this is the my URL code so you can uh, see any code of please feel free to 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 fork or download and 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 edit uh, for your uh, friend yeah so thank you if you have any question you can reach out to me yeah have a nice day